Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to calculate the uh, latitude and departure adjustment. So here's what you will need first. You will need your mean distance between each point. You will also need your azimuth angles. So that is the angles that we've calculated in our previous video. Next, you have two formulas that you must employ to uh, perform this calculation. The first is you must break down each of your points into x and y components. So, x is equivalent to d, d being the distance, multiplied by sine of the azimuth. The y is equivalent to d times cos of the azimuth. Now, typically in mathematics, to get your x component, you use cos, and to get your y, you use sine. However, in this part, it's the opposite. So keep that in mind because that can affect your values greatly if you confuse them. Just keep in mind that x uses sine and y uses cos. Now the main formula for the adjustment is this right here, the adjustment formula. Now that is equivalent to negative segment length divided by total perimeter multiplied by your error. Now here's an example of how we're going to do it. I'm just going to put this right here just so you can uh, get a visual aid of how this actually works. So, I'm going to use only one station right here, um, but you must perform this calculation for each individual set of stations. So, 452, that is this point to 351, right here, so this point to this point, the distance here is 45.425, and the azimuth here is 100 degrees as we've gotten from our previous calculation. So we need to break this down into components. And the reason we do this is we break down each one into components and in the end it should all equal zero. But, it, but it's not going to because you, you will most likely have errors and that's why we are performing this adjustment to proportionally distribute the error through each set of stations. So, alrighty. So the x component is equivalent to 45 0.425 multiplied by sine of 100, and that is equivalent to approximately 44.735. Note the positive sign, that means this is going right. So, what that means is, this length right here, if we break this down into x and y, this is going to equal this number right here. Now the y component is 45.425 times cos of 100 degrees. That is equal to negative 7.888. And that is this distance right here. So, moving on. You must do this for each one. Once you do it for each one, you will be given these values right here as you can see. Now I didn't bother to, do, bother to do it for each one of course, just to save time, but um, it's the exact same thing for each one. You get all these values and then you will sum it up. So you will add these values together, even the distance. If you add all your mean distance together, that is your total perimeter, as you can see. If you add your departure, that is your error in the x component. Your latitude, once you add it up, this number right here is the error in your y. Now I will show you what to do next. So how you make the adjustments is you use the formula that I spoke about earlier. You use this formula right here. So that is the segment length, which in this case is 45.425 going from 452 to 355. Now these are stations. You divide it by the total perimeter which is your sum of all of these, and you multiply it by your error. In this case, our error is this number right here, which just happens to be a negative. Now, in this case, the negatives will cancel, which will give us a positive result. That makes sense, because what you are trying to do is distribute this number evenly for each one, and you want this number at the end to equal zero. Once it equals zero, you have done it properly. Being that as a positive, we are going to add it back to the original one. And that will bring this up, because it is in the negative zone right now, it'll bring it up to the zero level, which is what we want. 
Now, this was for the latitude. Now, adjusting for the departure, same exact formula. We plug in our numbers, and we multiply it by the departure this time. The, de the error in the departure, that is. This time, take notes, we get a negative result. There's no negative here, the negatives do not cancel, we get a negative result. With this negative result, I will add it back to, this, to, the, uh, to the departure, and that makes sense because it's a negative. Our error is a positive number, we want to bring it down, so we must subtract down to a positive. Here is an example of how I did that. And once again, I am only going to use one station, but you must do this for each one. And keep in mind to round carefully. Uh, errors in rounding can throw off your uh, adjusted sum. We want a perfect zero, not a 0, 0.000001 or anything like that. We want a perfect zero. So adjust your, um, so round appropriately is what I'm trying to say here. So here is the uh, adjustment in the X and Y. So the X is equal to 44.735. Now that is this one. And we add our, our error, our adjustment, sorry, our newly found adjustment value. Now this value that we are given in the X is now our new and adjusted value. Same goes for the Y, you perform the same exact action. You take your um, previous latitude, you add the adjustment, and you are given your new value. Now I will show you the updated results. So, this is the old, this is now the new. Notice how it worked. So, um, if you take notes, all the values are now adjusted, and these are the proper um, or the adjusted values that we will use for our, everything else from this point on. Now the final step is to get our um, distance, our adjusted distance. And that only makes sense, of course, because we have our adjusted x, we have our adjusted y, therefore our mean distance will also be slightly different. And how we do that is uh, very simple. We just use the Pythagorean theorem. And once again, I'm only using one example, but again, you must repeat for each one. So you're gonna have six sets for each value. So our distance is equivalent to the root of x squared plus y squared, and that is a formula we are going to use. So we just plug in our values for x. Our adjusted x is right here. Our adjusted y is right here. And this is the value that we are given approximately. Now again, careful with rounding. Um, so this is now our adjusted distance. And that's pretty much it. So once you do this, you're gonna have all the updated results, so all, sorry, all the updated um, traverse uh, observations that you have, and everything should work out nicely. All your sums here should equal zero. That's how you know it's correct. And that's really all that you have to do.